three, two, one. What we try to do, like with Guitar Hero Aerosmith and now Guitar Hero Metallica, is we try and embrace the band's essence. In terms of the Guitar Hero game, every single song plays freaking awesome. Like, they all play well on guitar, there's some great bass lines in there, all the drumming is fantastic, there's some great singing in there, they all play perfect. It's like the perfect band for Guitar Hero. There's a lot of Metallica fans here as well. And um, we've seen lots of Metallica shows, and I think I've read every single article and looked at every single book I can think of. And then we try to draw on the fans for inspiration. We wanted to do a little thing, I guess it's kind of self-serving, because we thought it would make the game better and do something for the fans too, where we ran a contest to show us your Metallica shrines, basically. Um, kind of like a, like a crib. To go in there and see what kind of crazy, psycho, over-the-top Metallica rooms these guys had. My name's Tim Matlack. 23 years old and I'm from King City, California. My name is John Rebo, I'm 37 and I'm from Los Angeles, California. When Metallica puts out a record, all the Metallica fans go out and buy it day one because they're so into the band, because they mean so much to those people. I've seen Metallica about 23 times. Oh, I've seen them eight times. Every album they've had, I've bought it the day it came out. Anything that comes out, we're like, yes, this is gold, this is perfect. There was one guy that li doesn't listen to any band other than Metallica at all. There's guys with Metallica, you know, everything in their car is like, you know, Metallica license plates and just Metallica everything. This paraphernalia, I would say I started collecting it about six years ago. Now, this is one of my most important pieces. This is a wristband of James Hetfield's. My first piece was my McFarland set of the uh, Justice For All tour. And this drum head is from Lars that I got signed pretty recently. And I got the drumstick from the Neversoft guys, the Guitar Hero. I think that really shows you, you know, how into the band these, these fans are. It's, it's, it was amazing. With every DVD I own, with every CD I own, with every anything I own of theirs, feel like I'm that much closer to knowing those guys. I, I take a lot of pride in owning all these shirts. This is me and Rob. He stood up over the table to, you know, put his arm around me and say, yeah, you know. This is my favorite item. I also have the autographs. So we wanted to to get, those, get that footage of those guys just to show the, uh, the Rab fan base and have them come on into the studio. Um, we brought them in. We had him watch Lars Ulrich do his uh, drum motion capture. We had him meet Lars. Yeah. Are those the contest yeah. winners? Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, that day was amazing, man. I, you know, I went down to LA, never driven there before on my own, and uh, we went inside, and it was, man, it was amazing. We got to go in and see the guys that create the game, and and got to talk with them for a little while and they showed us the game and the different songs and different ideas that they've all done. And, and then the big moment came when we got to sit there and watch Lars play for about a half an hour. They're not recording, are you? You're not <laughs> recording, are you? Now, the guy told me when Lars was there, I could only have one thing signed and Lars evidently overheard that and made sure that, I, that he signed all five or six of the items that I had. Are you guys good? Yeah. Right. Right. Signed or? I, I couldn't believe I was in the same room with Lars Ulrich watching him nail drum tracks for this game and it was just, it was probably one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. Well, there's a lot of um, moves that the band does, kind of signature moves for each song that they do. Um, I think one of the most noticeable ones is Robert Trujillo, the bass player, when he plays um, Seek and Destroy, there's just one part where he does this like crazy windmill spin. And like we knew that he did that, right? So we needed to make sure that we captured it. So like he's doing this crazy windmill spin and we're trying to capture all the moment. And then we're, he's got his hair flying around. We had to have them come in and do it because we want it to be authentic. It's like the next best thing to seeing them live. Guitar Hero alone is awesome, but to have my favorite band in Guitar Hero is like, wow. They look identical to how they do in real life and all their movements and everything are great. So the game looks really great. It's the most metal game ever created on the planet. It, I, I can't explain it. I'm really excited about the drums being a part of it and the microphone being a part of it. You know, maybe I can get my whole family going on it. Their lyrics and their, their music um, they're a real band, you know? They're a real band that writes about real stuff that people can relate to, and I think that the, the fans just embrace that and just, they, they become like family to these people. Metallica, see you on the road, baby!